Hello everybody and welcome back to Running with Georgia. This is another uh, Wednesday sort of chatty uh, video today. Um, so the past couple of weeks I've been feeling a little bit down when it comes to running. Um, I had a bit of an injury that meant I had to take time off and to be honest um, I've been bashing running quite a bit. Um, going on about oh this is silly why do people do this all it does is cause injuries blah 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 um and q2 today um i went for a run it was the first time i'd been able to run in a while um and i loved it um i do really enjoy running um and you know my hatred of running the past couple of weeks is purely just because i was upset that i couldn't do it um so i wanted to talk to you guys and also sort of put this video up for myself um, in the future um, to explain why I really like running, why I started um, and why I continue to do it. So there are two main reasons um, why um, I love running. Uh, the first is the benefits that it has to my physical health and the second is the benefits that it has to my mental health. Um, this video will touch upon sort of mental health topics um, and things like that. So. If you're not comfortable um, you know, hearing about that, if that's something that might upset you, then feel free to click off this video and you know, just watch the next one that I upload. That's perfectly fine. Um, so to sort of answer both of those, we need to go look back a little bit to when I was younger. So we'll talk about the physical part first. So um, growing up in primary school, I was actually quite active um, and I was quite good at quite a lot of sports actually. Um, I played on my school's hockey team, um, field hockey if you're in the US, and um, they had a few different teams and I actually played um, centre mid, which is like one of the most active positions running around, you have to be, you know, um, good on offence and defence, um, and I played in like the teams that were for the age groups above me and I ended up like captaining those teams later on. Um, and I really enjoyed it um, and it was a lot of fun and I was very good at it. Then when I was about 11, 12, well, 12, 13, um, I ended up changing school. Um, so my primary school, I was at, like, it was a tiny school. Um, it, my whole year group, including myself, was like 10 people. And then I moved school to a school that was in a city. Um, and then there were suddenly like 100 people in my year group. Um, so when I changed over there, I was already really, really scared about changing over to that bigger school because I am autistic and making friends and interacting with people is always something that I find really difficult and um, yeah, a little bit troublesome. Um, so I was already quite worried about that. So I thought it'd be best thing to just take a break from sports um, and not, you know, play on the team or whatever for a first year just while I, you know, got to grips with that side of things. So I took a, a year off and then the year after I signed back up um, and then right away again um, I'd qualified enough to go on like the top team um, for, for the school and um, that age category um, and I was very good but I just didn't enjoy it anymore and um, I find once you went to high school and you're playing in that at that level um, it just lost the excitement for me because it was there's a whole lot more pressure behind it because we are taking part in like proper competitions and everything and even though when we were at primary school we were still playing for wins and losses like at the end of the day if you lost like you know it wasn't too big of a deal you're mainly just there to have fun and then and that's all i really cared about was having fun i didn't really care about the competitions or anything like that or like the big cups or championships so what started being really fun very quickly just became something that was very stressful I didn't like it and then ever since I don't really play team sports because I'm not worried about losing for me I was worried about losing you know for then other people being upset with me because we lost and if it was something that I did then you know it'd be the end of the world because I would have cost us a win or whatever so then I stopped taking part in pretty much any serious sport I mean we still a PE and I was very good at a lot of things they wanted me to take part properly in um, quite a few sports but I just didn't want to um, taking part you know at that level was just really stressful for me I did end up taking part in my team's like rifle shooting team um, I'm a qualified marksman if that means anything to you that's not really like an athletic sport it's mainly lying down and it was more individual based so I enjoyed that um, 
So all that to say is, other than very early on, I didn't really do much physical activity um, in my teenage years. That carried on into um, you know late teens and then early twenties. Um, when I left school, I had um, a quite physically demanding job, so I could get away with sort of like not eating um, very healthy. Um, but then I moved to a more like sedentary uh, job as I got older, and then but then didn't change my eating habits. And then, yeah, I very quickly gained quite a fair amount of weight. This time last year, I was like 85 kilos. Um, so not like my 600 pounds level overweight, but it was overweight enough that I didn't feel confident in myself at all. Um, I refused to take pictures. So normally I might do like a before and after thing, but I do not have pictures of myself from back then because I just hated the way I felt. I hated the way I looked. I hated that I'd get tired really easily doing just any like basic physical activity. Asthma didn't help, but it wasn't just due to that. Um, and then over that time period, especially like after COVID, um, I wanted to sort of make a change in a more healthy uh, way, lose a little bit of weight, become a little bit stronger, fitter just in general. Um, and this just kept kind of like, going back and forth sort of like the, the weight gain and weight loss because I'd go to the gym and I'd stick with it for a bit but the main problem was I wasn't actually enjoying any of the workouts that I was doing in the gym so I'd stick with it for a little bit but then it was hard to motivate myself to do something that I wasn't enjoying so for a while yeah it would just I'd lose a little bit of weight gain it back lose a little bit gain it back and then you know it wasn't really working for me so then, um, sort of last year, um, I decided that I'd start using the treadmill on the machine, which I was very resistant to because I just felt like it would be really embarrassing to run in front of other people, especially on a treadmill. I thought that people were just going to like look at me running on a treadmill and then start like laughing or whatever. Don't know why I thought that, but um, yeah, I did. So I put off using the treadmill at the gym for a very, very long time. Um, and I decided to give it a go. I was like, well, nothing else is really working. I might as well try it. So I did. Originally, what I first started doing, there was no like plans or whatever that I was following. I just, I'd set a set speed. And each time I went on the treadmill, I just try and go for longer and longer. And that was working. I mean, it was still hard. Um, you know, it, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it, but I liked it a hell of a lot less than everything else that I had done in the gym so I kept doing it um, and it was something that I would do a lot more consistently I'd build up the mileage and the mileage and the mileage and I got to the point where I was actually enjoying doing a physical activity which had, hadn't been the case for a very long time um, so yeah I stuck with running and um, I was enjoying it I'd only done it on the treadmill at that point and um, just because again I was scared to run outside I was scared that you know I was like, okay, well, I managed to do it in a gym where there's only a few people who are also working out. But as soon as I go outside, people are just going to stop and laugh at me again for running outside, which is an insane thing to think of like right now because I go out driving and people run past and I don't think anything when I see someone running other than, oh, someone's running. You know what I mean? But yeah, so I was running on the treadmill and then because I hadn't really like, I wasn't part of any of like the running subreddits, I hadn't really gotten into running at all. I was running on like an old pair of like, basic trainers that weren't meant for running and they were actually not very supportive at all and then of course I got injured because I was just increasing my mileage like every single week without really having any rest days or whatever so I did have to take time off there for an injury but then when I came back and I decided to run outside and I got serious and I got my Garmin which gave me more motivation and I've loved it ever since and yeah the physical benefits are there for me because it's something that I stuck with because I really, really enjoyed it, which hadn't been the case for a lot of things. So now I obviously still have asthma. Running won't cure that. But my VO2 max has increased since I started running. So I get out of breath a lot more. I'll get out of, I get out of breath a lot less. If I was getting out of breath more, that'd be a little bit of a problem. I can run further than I ever used to be able to run before without, like I said, dying, collapsing on the side of the road. I feel stronger in every day-to-day -day life. I can sleep better, which is having, you know, a positive effect on my body because sleep, sleep is just 
an incredible thing that people overlook, but it has such great physical benefits to your body. Um, and yeah, just my body feels better in, in every sense. Even my bowel movements are more regular now. Um, and I don't know how to explain that, but it's just, yeah, it's a thing. Just my body feels so much better. I feel much more confident. And yeah, I lost a lot of weight. So like I said, it was like 85 kilos like last year. And now I'm like hovering around like 61 to 62. It fluctuates sort of when I go and weigh myself, uh, just as, as weight kind of does. But I've been like steady around that bit for a while now. Um, which is, yeah, so the physical benefits are sort of undeniable. I just feel a lot better about my body and my body's ability to do things. The second bit, this is going to get a little bit deep, is sort of the mental health aspect. So like I said before, I was, you know, relatively fine, just happy sort of child um, until I moved to school. When, like I said, when I was about 11 to 12, sort of that rough area. And then as soon as I did that, like I said, it was incredibly stressful for me to move to that much larger school. Um, and coupling that at the same time frame as, you know, going through puberty, all that sort of things, increased like course load at school. And uh, that school was a lot further away. So it was having to travel like an hour each way to go into school. So having a lot less free time. I just, my mental health just spiraled um and like it never really like came back up um it's hard to really explain it but there's a lot more stuff going on that I'm not really going to touch upon in this video but the main point was is like from the age of 12 till like again very recently my mental health has just been fairly crap um to be completely honest with you like it's hard to really explain if you've not really gone through it but like I'm 20 I'm turning 23 in January um, and for like a decade which is again I'm just over 20 so nearly like half my life I've just been miserable um, and just not wanting to be alive and a couple of times I've tried to not be alive and um, to kind of brush on that and um, so yeah my mental health has just not been very good and it's not as if there's like a reason behind it I mean I've got a great family I've got a lovely wife I've got pets I love and you know I've got a good steady job and whatever um but these sort of things don't really need a reason and um I've been on anti-anxiety and anti-depression medication since I was about 12 so again like a decade um and nothing really worked until I started running so my main issue like I said there's no real issue other than sort of my brain it kind of I can't really shut it up and it just sort of like goes and goes and goes and then just start worrying about things um, and being really anxious and then that just sort of like spirals all the way down and then I just don't want to do anything and um, yeah it just kind of sucks but when I can go for runs because I'm having to focus on like my pace my breathing the road keeping an eye that I'm not going to just like you know trip and fall and whatever when I go for a run I can shut my brain up um, which is amazing because I've never really been able to do that like even when I'm about to go to sleep I just can't shut it up if I'm watching TV I also have to be on my phone because if I'm just doing one thing then that's not enough to distract myself so it's it's always been a struggle but like I said because I go for runs and I have that time to myself where my brain just physically cannot like think about you know stuff like that like it doesn't have the capacity to worry about that I can sort of go for my runs and I'm just like peaceful like peaceful then in that moment while I'm running and having that sort of one moment of peace has just it, it it's genuinely transformed my life and I'm not trying to be like dramatic but it has it really has changed my life like to the point where I'm no longer on any of that anxiety anti-anxiety or anti-depression medication because now I just don't need it for some reason running regularly and having that sort of um, like schedule and that habit of going out for a run is I look forward to those runs. I feel the benefit immediately when I go for a run. If I don't go for a run, I can start feeling sad. So then I go for runs more and yeah, I'm just a much happier person, a much patient, more patient person. 
And yeah, I just, running has transformed my mental health, which is the other reason why I love it. Um, Obviously, I'm not trying to say that if you're depressed or anxious that running will solve everything because, you know, mental health is very nuanced and there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, but for me, it it was pretty magical, um, to be completely honest with you. And that is why um, I had originally, when I first started running, I was like, oh, I'll just run until I lose the weight and then I can stop until I've got my goal. And now it's to a point where I can imagine not running again. But yeah, um, I'm not going to bore you any longer with me rambling on about, you know, my emotional you know, epiphanies and things like that. But like I said, I just wanted to make this video, first of all, to tell you guys why I like running and um, maybe other people who are looking to get into running and are looking at the benefits, this might help. But it was again, it was mainly sort of for me to look back on if I'm ever having that period in the future where for whatever reason I can't run and I'm like, well, what was even the point in the first place? Keep up get back to it because you know your life would kind of suck without it but yeah uh, that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments down below why you like running um and how long you've been running as well and um, that's always interesting to know um please consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed um i've been on a good run of posting videos and some bonus videos as well um which i'm quite proud of i think each one sort of gets better and better which is good um take me a while to get sort of used to the camera and the editing and everything like that. I would like to eventually get to a point where I can record on like a real camera and like properly edit everything because at the moment I record it on my phone. I edit it on like a video editing app on my phone, which isn't the best. I'm trying to do it with my fingers. It's not the best, but I am trying my best. Um, and hopefully, yeah, the more of you guys that subscribe, the better it can be uh, going forward. But um, that is it. I'll see you in the next video, but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.